All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us throughout the day here at the Litham Partners Fall 2024 Investor Conference. My name is Robert Bloom, Managing Partner of Litham Partners. During this presentation, we welcome SkyX Platforms, ticker symbol of SKYX on the NASDAQ. And joining us today from the company is Ronnie Cohen, the company's founder and executive chairman. Uh, before I turn it over to Ronnie, I just want to remind everyone that management is available for one-on-one -on -one meetings today throughout the conference. If you've not already scheduled your uh, meeting and would like to do so, uh, feel free to send me an email. That's bloom, B-L-U-M, at lithumpartners.com or visit lithumpartners.com forward slash fall 2024. Uh, from there, you can click on the investor registration button to make your one-on-one -on -one selection. So, Ronnie, thank you very much for your uh, participation in the uh, conference here today. Uh, the floor is all yours. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, good day, everyone. Um, we're happy here to present you SkyX platforms, SkyX technologies. Uh, we're making homes and buildings become safe and smart and advanced as the new standard. Uh, if you think about it, uh, I always like to say we've been to the moon over 50 years ago, but for and that technology was good enough to take us to the moon, but for some reason, not good enough to make uh Homes become smart and safe as a standard. As a matter of fact, 97% of homes are not smart in the U.S. and 99% of homes are not smart around the world. So we have a few solutions for the smart home and lighting industry, uh, how to make homes become smart, safe, and advanced as the new standard. Our cautionary statement. Uh, that's part of our management board advisory and investors that uh, all of them here are working for the company, part of our team, uh, and uh, uh, some of them executives in the company and some of them are senior advisors. Um, and we have here our president, uh, second from left, Steve Schmidt, former CEO of Nielsen, Data Rating Corporation and former president of Office Depot is our president and investor in our company, invested several rounds. So is Bob Nardelli, former CEO of Home Depot, Chrysler, and G Power System, invested with us several rounds and is part of our senior advisory team here. Um, uh, Al Weiss uh, also invested in part of our senior advisory team. Um, uh, Al was the former uh, president of Disney Worldwide Parks, Hotels, Resorts, Cruise Ships, and Products. Our lead director is Governor Tom Ridge, uh, former head of Homeland Security, two times governor of Pennsylvania. We have with us Lance Shainer. Um, he's the uh, founder and owner of a global hotel chain, including many Marriott's. And he's uh, an investor in the company and um, also a senior advisor for us. Uh, Mark Early in the center here is a former head of the National Electrical Code. National Electrical Code is the... Uh, uh, Na National Electrical Code for all 50 states uh, for electricity, safety, and standard. Uh, he ran this organization for uh, over 33 years and retired and joined us. He was in charge of every nuclear site, military base, airport, hospital, residential, commercial structure in the U.S. and joined us and a very senior member to our team here, our co-CEO, John Campy, former uh, Chief Procurement Officer in uh, Chrysler and uh, Vice President um, in Home Depot, uh, and uh, Lenny Sokolov, our co-CEO, former President of National Security and CEO of Newbridge. We have here Eric Jacobson, former CEO uh, of American Lighting Association, and uh, Khadija Mustafa, former Head of uh, Microsoft Global AI and Business Leader, we have Paul Chernovsky, former Entrepreneur of the Year by E&Y and uh, uh, investor and a very successful insurance person. And our last and not least, uh, Patty Barron, our co-CEO, uh, world-class UL and safety uh, expert. Um, we will share with you why those people invested in us, many of them in our IPO and uh, before when we were $14 and $12 a share and still really great believers and great to have them on our team. Uh, this is our uh, three generation product video uh, that will tell you about our company for three minutes. And um, we then will go back to the presentation. SkyX platforms. 
SkyX's leadership includes former Fortune 100 CEOs and executives. SkyX, the future is here. Advancing, simplifying, while saving time, cost, and lives. SkyX's Technologies won seven CES awards and has nearly 100 U.S. and global patents and patent applications. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb that for many years was installed by twisting hazardous wires until inventing the Edison base that became the global standard in every home and building for billions of light bulbs. Billions of fixtures are installed annually while touching hazardous, dangerous wires and risking lives. SkyX has the goal to follow Edison's path to become a U.S. and global standard in homes and buildings for billions of fixtures, including smart home, AI, lighting, and fans, to become plug-and-play, advancing their performance, making homes become safer and smart within seconds, while saving time, cost, and lives. Our Gen 1 SkyPlug enables a safe installation of light fixtures, ceiling fans, smart home and electronics within seconds, making it safe, easy, and convenient for the user. First time installation takes two to three minutes to install. And it is safe to touch. Skyplug is recognized as part of the NEC, the National Electrical Code determining electrical safety protocols and code nationally. Skyplug's technology has been listed multiple times in the NEC codebooks. Skyplug's technology is also endorsed by the IAEI, the International Association of Electrical Inspectors, and mentioned in multiple publications, acknowledging the safety and the usability that its technology brings to the electrical profession. Our Gen 2 is a smart Skyplug, takes only seconds to install and is integrated with the newest technologies and platforms. The Skyplug Smart is integrated with many smart features, including phone control, voice control, energy-saving eco mode, scheduling, dimming, works with Siri, Alexa, Google, Cortana, and SmartThings. It has an emergency light, night light, color changing light. Our Gen 3 Sky all-in-one smart home platform enhances your all-around lifestyle. Making your home become smart and safe instantly. It includes the most advanced smart and safe features that are necessary for every home. The top center of the ceiling is the best location in the room to maximize performance of many technologies significantly enhancing the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth sound signal, and distance. The Sky Platform installed safely and simply within minutes to the top center of your ceiling, blending inconspicuously with your decor. The Sky Platform is integrated with a backup power failure LED light. In the center of the Sky Platform is embedded the Sky Outlet, as approved by the National Electric Code. Sky Plug Lighting, Fans, and Accessories can connect with the click of a button to the Sky Platform. A series of Sky Platforms installed in a home could repeat Wi-Fi signal and play the same music throughout the house. In the event of a fire, the integrated smoke and CO2 sensor would make an alarming sound. The Sky Home app can easily control light intensity, motion detector, light color control, temperature and humidity monitoring, room-to-room -room intercom, Control volume and music in each room. SkyX platforms. So now we move to uh, starting to go a bit deeper into our uh, technology and uh, our achievements. So as we said earlier, and now you can see why we believe our product is necessary as a necessity in every home, how it saves lives, uh, significantly save cost, significantly save time, simplify and advance. And if you think about this, one of those reasons by itself can be a major reason for huge success for companies. And we have all of them. It's rarely that you see a company that can advance and simplify, save costs and time and lives in, in one product. We have 97 patents, 36 issued, including uh, in China, 
India, and in Europe. Uh, we own 60 uh, home lighting and home decor websites that we currently sell our products there, uh, plus among other places. Our uh, TAM addressable market is uh, over 500 billion and expected revenues are coming now for product sales, but we expect them also to come from royalties, licensing, uh, subscription, monitoring, sale of global country rights. Our products uh, can influence and advance uh, key sectors like insurance companies, building and safety regulators, uh, lighting industry, smart home industry, uh, electrical industry, building, apartment building, hotels, cruise ships, etc. cetera. Um, we generated in our first year $58 million, first year of revenue, $58 million in 2023. Uh, our first quarter was $19 million in sale. Our sec second quarter was uh, Q2 was uh, 24.4, million in sales. And we reported cash and cash equivalents um, of 15.6 million. Uh, and our management team anticipates that we can come uh, cash flow positive next year. Uh, we had some key collaborations with world-leading U.S. and world-leading companies, including a collaboration with Home Depot for the retail and professional segments in both online and retail stores. Our product is starting to arrive online and on retail stores as we talk now, and we expect to grow it to hundreds of products online and uh, hopefully many also in uh, retail stores. Uh, we're starting with a few as we uh, talk now, they're starting to arrive to many Home Depot stores. Uh, we signed a five-year agreement with um, a GE, a global licensing agreement uh, to uh, share our technology and create a global standard. And GE has many experiences and many experience, or, uh, or I say uh, significant experience in uh, making uh, homes uh, and buildings uh, and other places become safe as well as advanced uh, in commercial and industrial and uh, GE and many others strongly believe our product will become standard for home and buildings. We collaborated with uh, U.S. and world lighting companies, uh, Kitchler, U.S. Uh, lighting company, 100 years old, Quizel, uh, the biggest and largest European lighting leading lighting company, Igloo, and we also uh, in collaborating for the home uh, market, uh, uh, professional market, retail segments, uh, and online. And we also co collaborated with the Chinese leading uh, supplier and manufacturer, uh, probably the largest in the world, supplying uh, the U.S., Europe, and China. And that includes some financial backing in some aspects and ways. Um, we are now um, starting to sell uh, products and we are nearing uh, 10,000 uh, U.S. and Canadian homes already. Um, we expect to be in tens of thousands of home by, homes by next year. Um, as we mentioned earlier, we're selling uh, online in over 60 websites of our own, among other places that we are starting to penetrate. We signed with a large builder that's doing approximately a thousand units, uh, and we expect to supply them down the road in the next coming years. Thirty thousand units of our products in and one thousand homes are our smart plug and play and advanced products. Uh, those are the three generations of products that we showed you in the video, and we are going to license them. Uh, to the smart home uh, industry, to the lighting industry, and to the electrical industry. we, As we mentioned, we won seven Consumer Electronics CES Awards in the past 12 months or so. Um, this is really how we see our product, uh, uh, starting with uh, cables that were, used to be wires became plug and play, and the most significant uh, 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 kind of example to what we're doing here is the Edison bulb that, as we showed in the video, the first bulb were, bulbs were connected with wires to the ceiling until Edison and uh, established GE uh, started the company, and then they invented the Edison base that made it a global standard. We're following the same path here uh, to create, instead of wires and hazardous uh, installations, uh, installation for electrical and smart home fixtures, a plug-and-play solution, and uh, G and others believe we can come a global standard for safe um, 
time-saving, cost-saving installations. Uh, this is really a how homes are today. If you take out your outlet box in the ceiling, if it's an old home, that's what you're going to see. If it's a newer home, you'll see the same with maybe nicer wires, but all the risks involve injuries, death, uh, electrocutions, uh, ladder falls, fires, and many other hazardous incidents. So we believe this is a global uh, uh, application, like every home has a wall outlet, why not a ceiling outlet? This is really what you see here happens uh, approximately 10 billion times globally that people go on ladders to install uh, smart home fixtures, light fixtures, ceiling fans, and uh, with much uh, risk associated to those things. As you can see on the left, our plug and play can hold up to 200 pounds. It has two locks. And uh, we spec it mainly for 50 pounds products at now, but uh, we expect though to grow to uh, much heavier products as well. Um, there's in the US in residential alone, 4.2 billion applications in ceilings uh, for us. And that's in residential only. Uh, commercial should be as twice as big as uh, residential. So there's close to a billion applications in the US to our product and we uh, expect to capture even a very small percentage or less than 1% of the market that can be a huge success for us and we're in the right path. And as we mentioned earlier, we're nearing 10,000 homes already and expect to be in tens of thousands of homes by next year. We're really conducting here what we call the razor and the blade model, opening an entire new world in the ceiling that um, the razor is our receptacle and um the blades are really everything that plugs in. If it's smart products, if it's smart ceiling fans, smart home platforms, recess lights, uh, wall sconces, chandeliers, et cetera. Uh, our product also significantly enhances performance of smart home and AI fixtures. As you can see here, and even, even on the all-in-one smart platform, you can still plug and play the fixture. Really the problem that you have on the left here is the reason that... Uh, 97% of American homes and 99% of uh, entire world homes are not smart. The complexity of making one bedroom smart in today's world is a day or two for wiring. And then when the gadgets are installed all across the room, they lag and uh, uh, create uh, many complications. Uh, people that have this experience uh, with smart homes will tell you our Product here, as you can see on the right, saves 99% of time, but is all synchronized on one device. It also prevents uh, most of the lagging, if not all. In addition to this, uh, quite significant is if someone gets a gift for all the smart gadgets he can find on the left and he gets it free home uh, and he wants to install it, he'll find out that the installer himself will probably uh, charge him twice or three times more than our device paid for and installed to the ceiling. And that's a main reason why many homes, the cost and the complexity is one of the reasons that homes do not have them and builders do not like to use them because not only the, it's a cost, a uh, major cost uh, pre-construction and during construction, but it's a major headache after you deliver the home. And our products solve the you know time-saving, cost-saving with the life-saving aspects and definitely sim simplifying and advancing the process. Um, as you can see here, in one bedroom will take you a minute rather than a day or two. A large home will take you probably uh, an hour or two uh, compared to weeks and uh, a high-rise or 500-bedroom hotel uh, will take you today probably a year and many millions of dollars. With our product, it can take you probably uh, a few days and, and a fraction of cost. Uh, really, it's the same concept of an iPhone. You have all the smart gadgets you have on your personal platform as a smartphone. Uh, we did the same, took all the smart home gadgets and uh, smart home and safety gadgets, put them all in one to create what you saw in the video. We have smart smoke detectors, smart CO detectors, Wi-Fi extenders, emergency light. We'll, we will have 911 calling. Uh, we have color changing ambience, night light, uh, room to room intercom, Wi-Fi extenders, scheduling and many other sensors to come um, and really our product advances many things uh, top center of the ceiling will advance definitely wi-fi you can see here on the chart on the left here that's what happened with most of people 
use uh, the wall outlet to put the Wi-Fi extender or the routers and the same chip going on the ceiling will probably uh, almost double the speed of internet and probably triple the range of internet. So that's uh, also with smoke detectors, CO detectors, Wi-Fi extenders I mentioned, but also intercom, voice control, sound, and many others will work much better in the top center of the ceiling. Uh, we mentioned uh, it's good for hotel rooms, school ships, hospitals, elder living, home care, offices, retail. And uh, we also, based on the safety aspects we have in our product, we applied uh, with our leadership to become a, a standard uh, and, a, and, and a mandatory standard. And Mark Early, who ran the National Electrical Code, is really the one that uh, is leading our code committee together with Eric Jacobson, the former president and CEO of American Lighting Association. What you see here on the left is what we, uh, is uh, the or not on the left only, but those are the most significant additions to the National Electrical Code. And we're very proud to be the most significant addition in the past 40 years uh, since those uh, things happened. Every bathroom has the GFCI. You can see it here in the center with the red button. Sometimes it's white buttons in the center, but this is a mandated code. We're following the path. We became a standard in the National Electrical Code and uh, by ANSI, American National Standardization Institute and, and NEMA National Electrical Manufacturer Association, all voted for us as a standard. And we're applying now to become a mandated, stand, mandated standard in every home, like every home has a GFCI in the bathroom and many kitchens. We expect based on the safety um, aspect of our products uh, that uh, we will be mandated uh, in every home. Uh, there's no timetable, exact timetable. We are, you know, it's uh, regulators take a while and more than a while and many times to make it happen. And that's the bad news. But the good news is we're already 12 years in the process and we believe that, that we're getting closer and closer and uh, it will happen one day. That's our strong belief. And uh, we hope that uh, we'll come true sooner than later. Uh, but we also got voted by the American Institute of Architects as part of our safety applications, as part of their um, continuing education program. And we also, if you can see here in the center, uh, as the GFCI has a, a generic name, Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter, we were voted uh, with a generic name of WSCR. It's part of the conditions to have a generic name when you're in the code uh, if you want to become a standard. Uh, this is really equivalence of concepts, like there was a wall outlet, why not a ceiling outlet? Uh, we need to prove technically one death can be enough to become mandatory. Unfortunately, there are much more just from fires related to electrical wires. Uh, there's over 400 people that die a year. Uh, you know, we have ladder falls and electrocutions and huge numbers. We didn't even mention them here. Um, this is, again, our leadership and Mark Early, the former head of the NEC, and Eric Jacobson and Bob Nardelli that has was the CEO of uh, G Power Systems also have a lot of experience in uh, making uh, changes and uh, and seeing changes in, in uh, of uh, safety by the regulators. Uh, our Gen and one one and two products really, uh, we have a, a retrofit kit that uh, we'll show you in a second. But today uh, there's three ways to buy light fixtures. For example, on the left with wires in the center here, you can see our plug and play, and in the right you can see the smart plug and play. And it's uh, again the razor and the blade model here. We're selling our product in many websites, including some of them you can see here. Uh, this is the retrofit kits. You have a smart retrofit kit here that can change the color ambience of your room. You can talk to it with Siri, Alexa, um, Google Home, Samsung, and many others and control your light fixtures and dim it through voice or through our app, uh, the Sky Home app. Uh, and that's the same for ceiling fans. So you can see this. And you can have home control and all the smart home features you see here, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, scheduling, energy saving mode, dimming, color changing, night light, emergency light, power meter, temperature, humidity, and much more. And we also have a patent on recess light. This is a multi-billion unit market that um, we got a patent on and we're going to have uh, all kinds of designs, rounds, squares, and many different colors. And uh, you go on the ladder to just install a Larissa slide, you can find yourself spending 20, 30 minutes to touch a hazardous wire when you can do it plug and play within seconds. Uh, that's a lot of other products that we are 
getting to the market and sharing our technology with others. And we expect to license it down the road uh, with our GE agreement. That's a sample of our boxes. We're spreading ar around those receptacles. You can see on the left, we have uh, several sizes of boxes, one, four, eight, and 24, and, and the recess lights. And we also have a patent on a smart heater, a ceiling fan with a heater inside, uh, among others. Uh, here the go-to-market is for online retail builders, hotels, and we expect to license and sell OEMs and online retail and builders, apartment buildings, hotel, cruises, uh, cruises online retail, commercial, and uh, subscriptions and, and data aggregations can always uh, uh, be part of our model and expect it to be. Um, and uh, we're doing our PR campaigns and uh, IR through our 60 websites. Uh, and uh, and our IR firm does the investor PR and uh, our marketing people doing the education PR in our product. And as we sell, we're selling in, in online already and started now in retail um and wholesale and uh, OEMs too and uh, we're starting sales to builders apartment buildings hotels and uh, we expect to start with licensing uh and uh selling even country rights so really that's the entire team here we have our tech office in Israel and um most of the team is here in the US uh our board members uh mentioned earlier a management and um really that's it thank you very much for your time looking forward to meeting with you in person uh, i will be with our co-ceo lenny sokolo and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have we hope you have a great day looking forward to meet you all thank you great ronnie thank you very much uh great presentation uh, again, just want a quick reminder before we uh, wrap up, as Ryan just said, if you'd like to uh, schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with management uh, throughout the day here at the conference, send me an email, bloom, B-L-U-M, at lithumpartners.com, or again, visit the uh, landing page for the conference uh, website. That's uh, uh, lithumpartners.com forward slash fall 2024. From there, you can click on the investor registration button. So, Ronnie, once again, thank you very much for, uh, for your time here today, participation in the conference. Uh, we hope you enjoy it, and uh, have a great day here. Thank you.